happening YouTube. Hey, it's time for some fork seals on the 77 KZ400. Been leaking for a while since I got the bike. Uh, they're always moist, but I never, uh, I already popped this off and cleaned. There's a lot of oil right there. Uh, I got the seals, obviously. But there's a couple methods. I watched a couple good videos. I've never done this before. Always been something I've been afraid of, so why not show you guys how to do it? It's just nuts and bolts. Um, start by taking the wheel off. I'm going to do this. I'm going to start this one on the bike. There's two different methods, like I said. One, uh, you take the whole fork off, put it in the vise, and do it that way. Leaving it on the bike, you're using the LA connections as your vise to hold everything. Uh, so I'm going to try that method first. So I get the wheel off, it's priority one, and we'll go from there. And take a wheel off. I might leave the fender for now. Just the axle bolt, cotter pin. On this side, there's two upper bolts. And I think the pin slides right out. I'll probably have to unbolt the caliper, get that out of the way. And eventually, like I said, do the fender. Then you get your crimp bolts. One and two. And your top bolt. And there's a bottom bolt. Up. There's my hand. Up under there. But once I get the axe all the way. And then this is your drain for your oil. Well, it wasn't so bad. The wheel slid right out of there. And so did the cap. Which actually one of these is loose. Kind of scary. Uh, speedometer cable routes through. Routes through? Route? What route you taking? Routes through there. Um, how do I get to that? How do I look? There's supposed to be a bolt up in there. Or am I thinking. Eh, maybe I can get to it now. I think it should be an Allen on the Honda. Forks. I was watching the video. They were an Allen, six millimeter Allen. Let me see what Kawasaki does. What I went into is you need a long Allen on this side because the way it's designed. This side it's fine. Um, obviously these you don't get enough leverage on, but maybe I can use this. Put a breaker on it. I don't think I have a long Allen socket. Anyway, I cracked that one loose and I cracked the top loose doing it this way on the bike using the lock to that direction for leverage. Uh, let's see if I can get that top loose anyway. Right off there. 17 maybe? Someone's already been in on this side. The Allen is Looks more like a Torx, not an Allen. They've been fucked up so many times. And guys do put heat on these. I think I'm gonna do it all on the bench. I'm, this is too much I'm trying to do upside down. So I'm gonna take the whole fork out, slide, slide, slide it out. Bolt, bolt, and bolt. <coughs> all right, fork has slid out. This is under tension up top here, by the way. There's a spring. Mine camera? No, not. I went in tight. This was loose on mine, actually. It's kind of funny. The whole thing is going to spin. Um, now that I'm out, let's see. Was holding earlier because it was compressed a little bit. Let's see if I can do that. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe the whole thing was spinning in there. I thought it was loose. Anyway, I got my impact. I'm gonna I'm gonna buzz it off my impact to make this easy. Okay, simple buzz it off the impact. Your cap spring. It's probably directional. Sometimes they're tighter, tighter at the top versus the bottom. 
center. Just put that there. And I'm just going to drain my oil the easy way. If there's any oil in there. Not much. Maybe it does drain up the Ah, oh, there we go. So more compression. Thick stuff, kind of. So it's almost like gear oil. I don't know what fork oil smells like, but look at how thick that is. I recommend a 520. And ATF, look at all that. Ugh. This doesn't look clean either. ATF, some people use. Another guy was mentioning 15 weight for a little stiffer. Maybe that's what this is. It looks kind of a spongy front end. Mm. Yeah, maybe I'll just, I'm gonna pull the drain plug on the bottom, make this easier. Camera. Look at that stuff, that ain't oil. It's like grease. Ugh. I thought somebody had been in here too. I'm like, oh, maybe these seals were done. Maybe these are original. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I only care about the seal, so I'm not rebuilding the fork or anything in this. Oops. There goes that grease. Yeah, I should put that plug back in. Uh, so why do I have to get the center out? All I want to get to is a seal here, which is held in by a snap ring. Uh, so maybe I don't have to take any of this apart the bottom bolt and get this out. Uh, only problem I'm going to have is pressing the new seal in, but uh, somebody mentioned a PVC pipe. This compressors and go, you know, maybe a foot long. They had to shave it down. I think it's two and a half. And just press a new seal in. So I'm going to go that route. So I'm going to start taking, there's a snap ring here and see if I can get that out. And there's, there's a newer Kawasaki's where they Use this as an actual slide hammer. Boom, boom, and it took the seal out. I'm not, but they also already had that bolt out. Hmm. I'll let you know. I'm gonna take that seal out right now. Okay. Hmm. So trying the use this as like a slide hammer. It's kind of springy. Uh, and look at the diagram. Get this fan out of the way. Did our seal, did our ring, our dust seal, ring, seal, 27 is calling it a dampener piston ring. And there's another spring? No, that's, no, I took those two. That's spring. That spring came out, the big long spring. Although they show it short. No, because that was a long spring there. So there's another spring. So that's the springiness I'm feeling. That bong, bong, bong. So I'm not going to be able to do it like a slide hammer, I think. And then the piston, and that's the bolt. I can't get out because somebody has stripped it. Both sides. Yay. Um, but if this is in all the way, I just need a foot long piece of pipe when I go to put the seal back in. I should be able, I'm not going to use a screwdriver. No one uses a screwdriver, come on. But I have uh, some picks. I can make able to get this seal out. But that, obviously, you do not want to damage that surface. So I'm going to try and pick at that, see what happens here. Yeah, I'm not happy about this. It's not the way to do it, but I was able to pry it up from the sides. And get it out. I can see some horizontal lines in this. Don't feel them with a the fingernail. There's not play in this, which is good. So I think I can get away with a new seal and dust cover. And uh, yeah, I don't know. 
best way to do it is to get this out, which was gonna require me to get that out, which is stripped. So that would require drilling it, putting a flathead on it, something I could. But this one's hard, this side, because it's way up in there. Not good, Kawasaki. Not very nice. Anyway, I'll get this back together. I think I'm gonna have to find a pipe for that. Let me see what size. Tape measure was here. Ah, there she is. Outside. Outside looks like two and a quarter, so I need something inside to be. Looks like one. Maybe something one and a half. Maybe even a piece of the vacuum cleaner. Something plastic, just to drive that seal down. And looking at that seal, I think that's the top, believe it or not. It looks like a bottom. Because this has the writing on it, which is how the other one came out. It says a spring on that side and a spring on this side. But if you look the way the contours are, I believe in this way this is cut. You want to keep the oil down in there. So this would be the top. Yeah, the way those are. Like a waterfall. Holding things down. Hmm. Alright. I'm not proud of this doing it this way, but maybe when I do the other side, I'll do it properly and share it. <laughs> With just a little uh, green scrubber pad, you know, these green scouring pads. Cleaned up a little rust that was up here. I uh, just want to make sure this is all good. I put some marble mystery oil into the drain because this thing was filthy. So I put a, was able to get a little bit in there, and I've just been going back and forth with it. At least sloshing it around. And now I'm about to drain it. And hopefully that cleaned that out. And I did find this, like I said, piece of vacuum adapter. If I have this down all the way, I think I'll be able to get that. It's good. It's pretty good. It's not perfect, but I think I'll be able to get that, get that seal in. Uh, I don't know about the other side still. I don't really want to do it this way again and risk marring that up, but i let you know. Did I say pour it in the drain? No, I meant I poured it in the top and then was able to get a lot of clean destroy oil to come out. Oh yeah. Here's that Allen bolt I'm talking about that's fucked up. Look at that thing. Somebody rounded it so much. Looks like a Torx. I wonder if I have, maybe I can get a standard size on the other one and get it out. Or maybe somebody did jam a Torx in there. I don't know. I'll look at the other side when I get to it. The video? Yeah, next thing is my dust seal. I did a little marble nursed oil on the rubber. Same with that when I installed it. Did I mention that? Uh, it's just going to go over. I think I'm at this step because this is going to slide up in to here and the dust seals below it. Yeah. All right. I didn't miss anything. I'm going to go ahead and clean out this tube here. If there's any crap up in there before I slide it back in. So this is why we record video. This is, I said in the video, tighter at the top. You can see that's tight or wound here. That's the bottom. Top has some, I don't know if you can see it. That's a, it's a bigger gaps. It's a tighter at the bottom. That would make sense to me. Like, I would absorb the initial shock driving. So, that's if somebody else had it in there, right? Spring. And then our cap. I don't have to do that now. I was just putting that in there. And that's going to be... Yeah, I guess I can do it now. Then I'll slide it up in there. Okay, okay just slid that up in there. This is a little side note. This is how you make your 
ride height adjustment for the front. Mine was level before. I just popped it in there a little higher. Or lower, rather. <laughs> oh. So, I might just uh, keep it where it was. This is always an easy adjustment after the fact, but I thought about lowering at one point when I built this. It might be a little cool, a little lower. And maybe I'll go a little bit, a little C hair lower. It up. I need two hands. Okay. Uh, you may not know, but I forgot to put the oil in first before I put that cap on. But by the magic of editing, tapping is governed by a viscosity oil fork leg CEF 520. Each fork leg holds 150 to 170 cc's. Ah, the old cubic centimeter, everyone's favorite thing in America. I think it's five ounces. So I'm going to find something. This container I saved is four ounces. I'll measure it up in the house, figure out what four ounces is, and something like that. Five ounces. Let me do the math. So 150 works out to 150 milliliters. I think I read it was the same. Look at that. That has milliliters on it. This is four ounces to that line. So I measured that amount, I'm going to put ATF in it, and then I did the second to there, twice, and that puts it right at around 160, I think. That puts it right in the middle either way, so I'm just going to put some oil in here. Maybe I should show you guys. Hey! Alright. Then I will put the cap back on and put it back together. You dummy. Got the oil. Okay, one side done. Went yay high. Took the other side off. Took the fender off out of the way. Got this one in the vise. Got some penetrating oil soaking on that, uh, that Allen. This fits tight. But it's just so blown out. Somebody fucked it up. Uh, maybe I can file. I don't know. It's going to be a real pain in the ass. I'm going to get some heat on this tomorrow. Shh, up in this area. Oil is still in it, but it should be down the bottom. I don't have to worry about cooking it, I don't think. And yeah, maybe some heat, and I can crack that loose. And hopefully it's a bolt I can get replaced. I was trying to get that out, that seal out the way I did it. It was a mess. If I had to, I could do it this way again. The guy's been doing this for years. I drill a sheet metal screw in there. And, but it's so close to the damage. You can't get in there either. You're trying to drill next to it. The fork's in the way. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to tackle it tomorrow. Late in the day. I'm going to go eat. All right. Okay, YouTube. Back with a fresh eyes and a day of rest. Thought about this. What I did find is I have a brand new 6mm socket. It fits really tight in there. So I'm going to uh, get that pounded on there. I'm gonna give it a little heat. I've got the propane. I got map gas if needed. I'm gonna try and heat. Aluminum, like I said, is very hard to heat because it just dissipates. It doesn't focus. If I try to heat the bolt, I don't want to soften that because that's where I'm putting the socket. Ideally, you want to soften down in where it's threaded, but you can't because it's surrounded by aluminum. So that may or may not work. Uh, and then if worse comes to worse, I do have to drill it out. Being an Allen bolt, it's not as hard as you think because all the material has gone. You just want to get this material out. So to go up, there's a nice center punch already. You do want a center punch to get your bit started. Maybe drill a little bit, a little small bit, and then just to center the whole bit. You just got to drill out that material right there. And then the 
bolt will come through. So it's not as scary as it sounds. Uh, and that's probably not a very hard bolt, seeing how it's stripped. So I do have the impact. I'm going to use the impact. You don't have one of those. This is a hammer impact. They make different bits for. You strike it with a hammer and it turns. I've had good luck with that in the past on stuff. Your awls, center punch, and just finally bought one of these. I don't know why I never had one, but you press down on it. it makes a nice strong punch. And as I said, I found a new set of Allens. I brought out some standard set as well. They didn't fit as well. The Torx is not going to do it, but I think, yeah, this brand new one, this brand new is going to do it. Heat it up, hit it with the impact gun, and we'll see how it goes. Hooray! That did it. That has done it. Heat. Nice, tight and fitting Allen. The impact, just to break it. And this whole thing is sliding out of there. Let's see how warm that got. Oh, it did get warm. Feel that. I'm feeling it with my, yeah. Uh, I didn't think the, uh, ooh, that's hot. So just that, I went around it for like 10 seconds with propane. Not even the map gas, propane. And it, it did, the aluminum traveled. It traveled warm enough to heat this metal up. Sweet, I'm psyched. So, now I got that. I can get the cap off this end. Ooh, there goes the oil. And, oh yeah, gotta get the seal out. That was the whole point of this. All right, I'll keep you posted. Oh, okay, sorry guys, I haven't been filming real time for you. I should be doing that out of courtesy, right? So this is our old seal dust cover. I'm sure everybody's... Tons of videos on this anyway, but you know. There's my seal. There's some other parts down in there. I think. Let's see if I can come out first. Or if I gotta get that seal out. Nope. Yeah, I gotta get that seal out. So I thought the idea was you use the this is a slide hammer to pop the seal out. I wasn't able to do it that way. Is there another spring? I thought there was a spring. No, I mean, I should have. I don't know what was holding me up, but yeah. I guess if I get that clip off, I think that's what I was supposed to do. Hmm. I skipped a step, maybe. Get that clip off. You could leave this attached. No, nah, I don't think it works out because that's bolted down the bottom. No, you can't do the slide hammer. There's, there's like a newer, a newer design. You can use it as a slide hammer and get it out of there. Hmm. I think this is just an older design. Previous model, you could do that. You could use it as a slide hammer. There's a your clip. So I might just have to do the old prying method get that out of there. Yeah, so if that was attached to there and it's bolted down there, there's no way you can use it as a slide hammer. Right? My thinking that makes sense folks. I do have a seal puller. I might be able to get it on here. This is just a PB blaster oil. Make it easier, of course. Get anything out. Let's see if I can just get that up with that. Without marring the sides, of course. Tighten up my vise. Alright, I'm going to uh, play with that a little bit. Maybe I'll get my seal puller.
like I should have gotten in the first place. My pry bar method is working pretty good. Just don't go too far in where you scratch the aluminum. on how the seal goes. At one time this had I was showing you on the new ones is lips to cascade the oil back down. These are pretty worn. There's not much there compared to a new one. Alright, now we can get the rest of that out. Film that so we know which way it went. Well, obviously, it can only go in one way. Good, 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 one way. That is going to go down towards the, uh, that's what the bolt threads into. So, yeah, there's no way to use it as a slide hammer to pull that seal. That must be just a newer, newer step I was reading on uh, newer forks. What a mess, I'm going to clean that out. Carb cleaner, marble mystery, oil, even. And I do have to go get a new bolt at the hardware store. Here's the bolt I was showing you. Let's see if I can get that on the camera. It's just a standard Allen. I can get that at the store, I would say, probably metric, obviously. But see what I mean? If you had to drill it, all you got to do is get all that material. So not as scary as you think, as long as you get a center punch and drill it straight. Uh, I should have done the other side now. Damn it. Will I go back and fix it? To be continued. Okay, dokie. First thing first. This is going down in there. Be able to just put it on here to guide it down in there. The Valar. I'm going to put a little RTV on these threads instead of a Loctite. <clears throat> One of the builders I watched did that. Locked out, you don't need this locked. That was the whole problem getting it off. I mean, it's just too tight, right? I don't, this will just seal the threads if oil were to get down there. I think that's the idea there. It's got the brass ring anyway. Show. Put that on my leg, so I'm gonna drop it, destroy it, but I just spent so much time on. Oh, that's what I want. A brand new, yeah, it is a brand new six. Look how tight that I guess mine were just worn. My Allen's. I don't know if I could tighten that. I think it's going to have to be tightened when everything's back together. But, um, let's see if we can get this clamped. Ah, that's right, it was clamped that way. It's nice having the pipe, pipe vise. You can do both sides, round pipes and stuff. There's that. There's this piece. It's still in frame. Yeah, okay. That went down because that's a cup. And I think it's just the new seal. And 
again, make sure you're doing that right. The writing is up. Maybe not always, but in this case it is, because you can see these ridges, kind of like a roofing tile. So you want to keep the oil down here, not get up past it. If it was the other way, it would just allow oil back up. Same thing, I might do a little RTV, although this one didn't get marred up. My other side got a little marred up for me drilling, uh, but not low enough to affect it, but eh, maybe up here, but I'll do a little smear of RTV and pause this, make sure I'm not jumping ahead here. Cleaned up my snap ring. I do have the seal. I'm just going to put a little marble, more marble mystery on that seal. Not the outside, like I say. Like I say, it. A little smear of RTV. Hope that was on camera. So got some oil on the inside. This is the top here. Oh yeah, let's get some oil. Oil on that shaft. over this top so I don't want it to get smeared or caught on the there's any sharp lip up top there. Is that in there? Or is it way up there? Oh yeah there it is. Obviously you know what I'm doing. And then this was the very special tool, a uh, vacuum adjuster that fit. Well, you know what? It's not going to fit because I put the bottom in. What did I do differently? Let's see. This was compressed. I took. I got to take the spring out. That's why. I mean, I probably can get this by hand. Let's see. I might not need the seal installer, but I do want to take that spray. I have to take the spring out anyway because I didn't put oil in. That's kind of the whole point. All right, let me blast that off. Alt's in the vise. Should be a set uh, probably this guy right here, right? Uh -huh. And you'll see this is under spring tension. Boing, that it falls. See that it fell in. I'm just gonna leave that for now. Because I just want to get the seal in. Just do it by hand, but I'll get the hammer on it. It's not quite uniform. Go to adjust it again. Sorry, guys. This is why I edit, because this is uh, incredibly boring. If I watch a video like this and turn it off, that's why I don't show you guys everything sometimes. And my rubber mallet. Work the pipe around so that I'm not damaging the seal. Until you see the groove. 
for the snap ring, which I see got some better light and was wearing glasses. Looks like it's right there. And we'll stick a pick. Pick in there if I can feel it. I don't think it's there yet. Almost there. And I'll might as well pull the spring out and might get a little more oil out of there. Who knows? Then I'll put my clip in. That was interesting. I went back. This is why I look and do video. <clears throat> this bike always seemed to handle. I remember my first turning this bike. I was, it dipped on me. And I was like, that? I just thought it was a heavy front end. Because this is a... I don't know, just the way it's set up. But this spring on this side was in the opposite. It has the tightly wound springs at the top. I went back and watched the other one. I put it back together with them at the bottom. So I have to flip this one. Because that initial, you're going to get initial sponginess this way. Whereas if it's at the bottom, I'm pretty sure you're going to get a little stiffer. Interesting. So either. Somebody had this in backwards, or the other one in backwards. I'm sure the manual here will tell us all about directional, because they're so accurate shit like this. These black and white blurry pictures, I mean, these, these things are useless. Factory service manual is the only way to go. Wow, that's interesting. Well, I don't see anything in the manual. I just looked briefly, but... I'm going to put the dust cap on. I'm really not going to look either because the other side's already done. I don't feel like taking it apart, do I? Of course I don't. This. Now this will stay up. I can put my oil in. Which we said was... Not Marvel Mystery Oil. See, uh, no, I'm not good at doing video. Live. <laughs> I'll just tell you what I did. All right, I'm going to fill this up to that line, which I said was... Ooh, Nelly. Right. Is it that line? I guess it was the line of the, uh, the label. There was no line at the top, was there? Well, maybe I'll have to go back and watch a video. Yeah. Or just wing it. Just wing it, Mike. One, two. And I pulled it there to the above that writing twice. And that worked out to whatever freaking cubic centimeter cubic centimeter of fluid, which is actually the same as cubic millimeter. No, milliliter. Yeah, just milliliter. Oh, hello. If you could stay up, that would be great. There we go. Oh, the metric system. I guess my parents tried to uh, teach me, teach us who were young the metric system because they, they really thought that the U.S. was going to convert for some reason. I don't know, they had some inside information maybe. <laughs> I'm sure that went over well. Alright, I'm going to take this off, put it on the ground, and throw it in my hand. And we don't need to see that. I just told you what I'm doing. All right, one more thing to do. I took yeah, maybe I'll 
do it sideways so I don't leak anything. Get these bolts out of here. You see that? No, of course not. These are studs. I double nutted to get them out. You guys know that method? I could have put a vice grip there. You thread down the first nut, thread down the second nut, put two wrenches, and you back this one into it in order to get this out. Just it was giving me access to that whole mess there. Ooh, that does not want to go in there either. It's in this side nice. Let me clean those out a little better. The patented paper towel. Maybe I should clamp that in. Aha! The old. Now let's flip this up. It's supposed to be here. It's the comedy of errors right here. <laughs> Bling, bling. Where am I at? Over here? Good. Let's get these suckers back in there. go. By doing that bottom one, it loosened it off. Plow to plow. Alright, I'll do the other one, save you the boredom. Yada yada yada, skipped a few steps. Well, put everything back in, put the fender brake on. Wheel was next. Not one torque spec in this entire book. Yeah, just put the wheel on. Man, make it tight. Don't worry about it. I'm going to go inside and look online at the manual on my computer. She is all back together. Upper clamps. I think we're 11 to 13 foot pounds. Not a lot. Those are just holding it in place. The ones holding all the work are these suckers and they are about... I took a picture of it, sorry. I think it was 20 foot pounds. Yeah, yeah, there you go. The axle nut. Tighten it to 50, I believe. I'll put the numbers in here. Yeah, we know how to do a cotter pin. That's the correct way to do a cotter pin. Put it in. Comes up. Like that. Like that. Doesn't go the other way. But tighten it to 50. If the hole doesn't line up, go past. Tighter. Don't go looser. Tighter. And then there's another crucial step with these suckers. These also were 11 to 13. There's an arrow on this cap. Has to point forward. There is, there is supposed to be a gap right here. That is normal. 
So they say tighten this one first, then that one. Get your stud, brake calibers back on, fender, speedometer drive gear. It's just kind of like a, had to match that up. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how it handles because, like I said, I think the springs are tighter at the bottom right now. Or they're supposed to be tighter at the top. Anyone know what that's going to do? It's going to ride a little harder? It's going to ride softer? No, we'll see. All right, that's fork seals. I'll let you know how they went. Like, comment, subscribe. Seals are done. I would say the ride's a little stiffer. And I'm guessing that would be the springs being in that way. Yeah, I feel a little, you know, feel the bumps a little more. I don't know, maybe it's just I haven't been riding this thing in a while. Could be it too. Uh, but it's got this misfire mid range. Uh, I gotta take the carburetors off again. From sitting in ethanol fuel, I'm sure. But that's it for that. I'll do that another day.